What is up, guys? Today we got another dope review. Um, we got the Mafex Black Suit Spider-Man. Um, I was super excited about this guy. I definitely was a little disappointed because this was the third Mafex figure I got out of all my collection, and two of them, the Mafex Carnage was defective. Um, the arm kept popping off, and then this Black Suit Spider-Man, the torso kept popping off. Um, from what I've seen from the inside of Mafex torsos, there's a, like this extra piece that is needed to secure the ball peg in the torso. I don't know if I was missing that or not. Maybe that was the way this one was designed. Maybe the ball peg was a little too small, but it kept falling off. So I did have to super glue the top of the ball peg to the inside of this torso. So it definitely inhibits a little bit of my articulation. Uh, it's not very dramatic, and I don't really notice it too much, but uh, I just want to start off by saying that because it definitely, like, <clears throat> worsened my experience. The figure itself, though, does look great, and the articulation is still really well. Um, I guess I'll save that for later, though. Let's go ahead and look at uh, accessories. Sorry, I lost that for some reason. Comes with a backpack which is cool. Um, I don't really remember it too much from the comics. I mean, this is the black suit Spider-Man, so there is a difference, apparently, the black suit Spider-Man. It's just a suit that, um, God, why am I slipping on the names? Mary Jane made because she thought that he looked good in it, basically. Um, versus the symbiote suit, which is completely different. Here is kind of an aggressive head they're both pretty aggressive this one's actually more of the pissed off looking uh black suit spider-man this one still looks aggro um this awesome head sculpt that uh they killed it on definitely kind of has a blank face but uh the detail looks really well comes with a few different hands uh some open hands Some more relaxed hands. Magnetic hands. Which is fun because that adds some play factor to it. Some thwipping hands for all those cool poses. Holding to a web hand. That way he's swinging from it like Tarzan. Um, and then magnetic feet. Because you can't have magnetic hands without magnetic feet. Oh, and then it also comes with a stand as well that I didn't use. And I'm actually using one of these other uh, Mezco stands, a DC one. I think this one was for the Batman, actually. Um, it comes with some webs, some short webs, some longer webs, and some even longer webs. And these ones are more for the grabbing um but yeah they're very long and he could swing from them because it has this little extra piece that he would grab onto <clears throat> the figure itself is really cool i definitely like it you can see all this blue shading on the figure you can't really notice it when it's dark though like you can barely tell unless you have this thing under a light but uh um, i like that it's there man it definitely adds a little pizzazz to it I didn't even notice it when I when I got the figure. Like not till later, not till I put it under a light. Um, it's that unnoticeable. Like if you put it under a light, you can tell, but it's very subtle. I kind of like that. Not a lot of people do because they want to notice it a little better. But I think it looks cool. The articulation is pretty good. I mean, it's standard Mafex Spider-Man articulation if you had one in the past. Uh, has the joint at the lower neck which can make it look up very high and look down very low and then it has another one on top that way you can rotate it obviously look around all that good stuff uh, it has a butterfly shoulder joint you can go across very far and go back very far and then the shoulder can go around 360 degrees um, it can twist at the upper bicep 
double jointed elbows makes it bend very far. I love that a lot. Um, 360 degrees at the wrist. You can go forward and backward as well. Um, the torso, there's two uh, ball pegs, one at the top, one down below. Um, he can turn kind of well. It is very tight and it makes noise that scares me. So I would be careful. This one can turn well too, but since mine is glued, it can't turn all the way around, unfortunately. But it does still have a good range of motion. And look at how far forward it can bend. And it does look kind of weird though, like if you go too far with this lower part, you could see this little Marvel logo and it just kind of doesn't look natural. But I mean, at least it can do it though. Um, and then it can go that far back. Uh, I don't think it has drop down hips. It might, uh, it actually does, yeah. Uh, so it can go that far forward. When you lift the leg up, it can't really go back too much, but you know, it doesn't really matter. I don't think that really happens too much um, in the comics. The knee can bend that far, which is really nice. Um, the leg can go, whoop, popped off. Forward and back, it has ankle rockers. And then it has the toe bend, which is cool as well. Then it has this blue on the bottom of the foot, which I think is accurate. I'm not 100% sure, correct me if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, there is a lot of blue highlighted throughout this figure. And he's really cool. I definitely like the quality of the Mayfex line of figures. Um, they're definitely getting a little bit better. I know in the past that they tended to feel a little bit cheaper and easy to break. They actually make this guy right here, which I do collect as well, the Bear Bricks. So I'm definitely all in it. And I like the way these figures look. They just look, they look very nice and they look good on a shelf. Um, he stands, I think about six inches tall. He's very short though. Um, I'll get a couple figures to compare him to. So here he is with a couple different figures. I got the Mayfix of uh, Dark Knight returns batman this is definitely one of my favorite mafex figures this guy's freaking epic um i wish i did a review when i got him but i wasn't really into it like that back then um he's a chunky boy um he's a little bigger than him uh, height wise but um just so you can get an idea of what he looks like next to some other mafex figures obviously they look great and the quality of plastic they use is that like shiny kind of plastic uh, looks very soft but it's like this kind of like you have to feel it in hand it feels a little rubbery um in a way and then here is the marvel legends symbiote suit spider-man which is one of my favorite spider-man figures uh because you know these things are great and they don't feel like they're gonna break easy unlike these expensive ones and they're just fun to play with but um yeah as you can tell this one on the right is a little bit taller and this dude's a little more smaller even in the musculature wise he looks more skinny but it, it's not a bad thing because spider-man's not supposed to be this big strong guy so uh, i don't really mind it too much i think he looks great and honestly yeah this figure is pretty awesome i just wish i didn't have these problems because i probably like it a whole lot more so i just want to show off the head sculpts a little bit um this is him with his angrier of the head sculpts and it's funny because they just both look pissed off. I mean, he is supposed to be a little more of an a, an asshole with this suit. Makes him more aggressive. Uh, this is the black suit. So it's not the symbiote suit, which is a different thing. But I mean, I don't know. Maybe it changes his ego. Um, this is just the other mask. You can't really tell the difference apart from like the eyes being a little more um i guess symmetrical on this one they're more open and relaxed and then this is the head sculpt for the mask off well i guess this isn't the um no, whoops i forgot i had to pop this part off too you have to pop the neck off as well um i, I guess this is technically the symbiote suit because it shows the symbiote coming up his neck. So I guess I'm wrong about that, but I know there's a difference between the black suit and the symbiote suit. So I don't know. 
but that looks awesome. Look at that. It definitely looks cartoony, but that's how you want it to look because it's a comic book character. That looks great, man. Even the hair on the face. Looking great. But I want to show you guys how you put the webs on. Uh, fairly simple, um, pretty obvious, but uh, you never know. Uh, you just take that little loop and you put it over the peg on the end of his wrist once you take the hand off. And you take the flipping hand and you slide it over that. And uh, sometimes it gets a little off center, but you'll get it. And then there you go. There is him flipping some webs at you, which looks great for photos. And it's just nice that they include it. Be awesome if it, had a, if it had a bendy wire in it. That way you can get a little bit, little bit more of that play action. But uh, it's nice to have, just cause. Another thing I want to point out is if you bend the figure a little too far. Um, sorry if my light is a little too bright. I can't tell if you can notice it right there. Uh, it will cause some creasing and some paint chipping. Uh, apparently people have ex experienced it on the neck and other places, so just be very careful. Apparently the paint is pretty sensitive. Um, as you can kind of see right there, it looks like the paint's already messing up. But um, yeah, it's not a cheap figure and uh, you, you gotta be careful. You gotta treat these toys with, re with some respect. I mean, they are expensive. You shouldn't be dealing with these issues, but sadly the more expensive things are the more sensitive they can tend to be sometimes so just be careful with that so yeah here here he is posed up um pretty much this guy is pretty awesome i think i had a rough experience with the first two figures i got so it definitely left a bad taste in my mouth um but i think these guys are incredible i think what they're doing and what they're aiming for is is really awesome and really solid the quality is getting better um, which is a start, but if you're going to be paying this much for a figure, it should be near perfect. Um, I, I still like the thing a lot, and I'm glad I could fix it up very easy. Um, I just wish that I didn't have that experience, but he's a lot of fun. The articulation is great, so you can get a lot of awesome poses. Uh, I hope to get that new Mayfex classic costume Spider-Man, which I'm assuming is going to be similar in the, in the sculpt. So uh, maybe I'll have a better experience with that. But um, he looks great. This is my favorite suit for Spider-Man. So I still love the guy nostalgically. Um, but uh, he's, he's epic. I love him a lot. And I just wish I didn't have to have that experience. Because I, I would definitely give this guy a high rating for uh, the figures I've had. I just want to show you one more thing as well before I go. Uh, this little backpack pretty much just slides up the arm and then I guess you could just turn the other arm back. I try to be careful with this, but there is no other way of doing it. Just kind of twist that arm around. Let's see if we can get it on like that. And then there it is on the backpack or on the back of him. Looking pretty cool. Um, it's an interesting accessory. I mean, it's not something that I need. Um, but, you know, it's just there because it's there. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this figure if you got them yourself. And, uh, go ahead and check out my other videos if you get a chance in my channel down below. And, uh, yeah, peace out, guys. Thank you for watching.